wisdom welcome back to my channel today i'm doing something super exciting i know that you guys already read the title and everything so you guys know what this video is going to be about um, i'm so excited to share it with you guys i hope that you guys subscribe and comment and like and do all that good stuff you guys do not know how nervous i was to do this i reached out for somebody to do to someone to do an interview with me for my youtube channel i'm really nervous because i'm shy and i don't know him but please wish me luck run this video up because y'all don't know how my nerves are like really actually like going bad it was definitely out of my comfort zone like i'm wisdom i don't just talk to people I but yeah besides that i had so much fun i appreciate Jalen for being so kind to me and he had some really really great things to say so stay tuned so that you guys can meet him and hear what he has to say how y'all doing? I am Jalen Robinson. I am Mr. Freshman at Livingstone College. I am originally from Hempstead, New York. 516, you know what it is. <laughs> but I stay in Charlotte, North Carolina. My major is business administration with a minor of music. I'm 18 years old. I am a cancer. <laughs> Best people out here, so you know. Game. I dance, play piano, play drums. I'm very musically talented. I also draw sometimes i do photography a lot but basically i'm around music a lot for the most part i still believe that pisces is the best sign yeah. <laughs> okay so i think the next thing that we want to ask him is about what made him want to bring his skill sets to livingstone livingstone was actually my first college acceptance late september i went to this hbcu fair in charlotte it was like all the HBCUs there, except like the top ones, they was very bougie or whatever. And it was like, okay, we're not accepting people today because we don't have one line. <laughs> it was a lot of other schools that were there, like Morgan State and Livingstone and Fisk. I can name a whole bunch more, but they was all there. So I was looking at Morgan State for a little bit. And then it's like something told me to turn around and go to the school behind me. Like, I feel like that was a sign from God there. So basically, I turned around, I seen it was Livingstone College. So I was looking at it, I was like, okay. I already knew one person who go there. Like, he's like a big brother to me, shout out to him. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna check this out. I started filling stuff out. He's like, you got your transcripts in there? I'm like, yeah, I got everything here. Here you go, right here. He's like, congratulations, you just been accepted into your first college. I was like, oh, <laughs> like it was crazy. They kept a tab with me throughout the remainder of my senior year, which ended sadly in March, but they kept a tab with me. I got accepted into five other schools, small schools. So I'm like, you know what? I think this HBC right here is like the spot because I could grow around and get big, even though it's a small campus, but I can get around and the skills that I have and the talent that I have, I could go around and people will actually enjoy it and it's gonna get me out there, which will not only help me, but it will help the school with the popularity. So I just feel like the decision um, about where to attend college is important. Yeah. Obviously it is. Sometimes people overlook it like athletes, for example. Yeah, sure. Do I bring my skill set somewhere where people have my best interest in mind or somewhere where they might use me or exploit my talents? You chose an HBCU and yeah. I think that's important for other people to, to kind of think about that part of it too. Yeah, in my household, my mom and my dad, they both went to PWI, so I was looking at it, but then I was like, you know what? I want to be around my color more and like get around the culture more because my high school was broken up into so many different like races. I want to go to a school where it's like, it's my people there, yeah, it's going to be some others there, but I want to be around my culture. And yeah. In life, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I graduated from the HBCU. And I feel like a lot of kids nowadays are just starting to get informed because you're starting to hear more people who went to HBCUs. You got celebrities who went to HBCUs. Got kids like, oh wow, he went to a small, he's going to a small HBCU he's there right now and he's doing great. You know what? I might follow his footsteps and stuff like that. It's like, we get so much mixed up in the other color in high school and middle school to where it's like you really don't learn about HBCUs until like towards your ending years of high school. And I think that that's mm -hmm. such a fact because when I was yeah. in high school, uh, I remember like talking to my counselors and things like that. They'd be like, you want to go to Clemson? You want to go to yeah, USC? Yeah. And I'd be like, no, I want to go to, I was looking at North Carolina Central at one point. And then it's like, you went to um, Nation Sports. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know how that is. I know the whole, you know that how that whole is. area, like all the schools down there, like, I know. And so, like you were saying, if my family hadn't already put that into me, yeah. then I wouldn't have looked at it and I wouldn't have exactly. known about it. So I do think that it's an important decision. 
take your time. Don't over rush it. Think it thoroughly. If you had to pray to God about it, speak to your family about it. Do what you have to do. If you have to go to a community college for a year or two, you could do that. If you want to take a year off or whatever, do that. Work, save your bread up. You don't have to be like everybody else. The main thing my parents taught me and I do myself is be a leader, not a follower. Don't follow everybody else. Don't follow your, the homegirls or the girls you was cool with and go to a school that they're going to. Don't go somewhere and feel uncomfortable about it. Go somewhere where you're gonna feel comfortable at and where you're gonna be happy at. Hopefully they'll take your advice yeah. and hopefully they'll choose Howard and they'll come to Howard. Uh -huh. If they did just end up wanting to go to Livingstone, yeah. what do you think they could expect? We wanna know all the tea, we wanna know about the professors oh. and the admin, the school pride, parties, yeah. all of that. <laughs> Livingstone, a lot of people try to downplay it because we are a small HBCU and we're basically in the hood. Like, every HBCU is in the hood. Like, it's not one <laughs> HBCU that's not in the hood. And that we are a private school, we are over 20K. Livingstone is actually fun. You got a lot to do off campus, but you got people to hang out with on campus. You got the pavilion where we hang out at, we laugh and talk and dance or whatever. The DJ, school DJ comes out there, shout out to Smacks and all that. Like, we, chilling out there the professors they may give you a hard time sometimes because sometimes professors don't like to reply to emails or answer calls or whatever and that's really just that they be on their own thing or whatever but it's basically get your work done get your stuff together we got the sports teams there we got basketball football we got a club baseball team we got volleyball our golf team we recruited these africans from africa they came over and they won a couple championships with our men's golf team, but we are a division two school. So our football team, we literally had the best D2 recruiting class for the 2020 year. Shout out to all of them, man. Like they really came in and they're doing their thing, even though we can't have a football season, but second semester, definitely gonna be out there watching them practice and really kick in. So by the fall time, we can really kick some butt and come for John C. Smith, cause that's our rivalry. <laughs> Yo, this is funny. <laughs> All right, boom. So basically, you see everybody on campus. The campus is small. Like, a lot of people's tea gets around. I mean, some people want to download. They, like, they keep it low. You could be homeboy with somebody, and they could be messing with your girl behind your back or whatever. Some females get thrown around the whole campus, and I'm going to just say that because it's like, I see it. And it's like, I know. Don't get too caught up with, like, trying to get a girl fresh me. Yes, I may have talked to some females on campus yes i have just don't try to put names out there but oh yeah like no we was just friends don't try <laughs> don't try to put mr freshman out there like you was not, no we was just friends and that's really just that but enjoy it though there's a lot of stuff going on like within the hbcu community like you were talking about um johnson c smith versus livingstone and then there's Howard versus Hampton, you know, there's yes. that. But then there's also, like you were talking about, there was um, the bigger HBCUs versus the smaller HBCUs. There's a lot of like, just conflicts. And I just feel like that's kind of wrong because we're supposed, this is like supposed to be a it's unity thing, yeah. right? It's supposed to be, man. It's crazy because it's like, I still, I connect with people who have bigger HBCUs and we cool and everything. And I'm gonna just say this and I'm gonna keep it a buck with you and everybody watching this mm -hmm. like, a lot of bigger agencies, they're very bougie about, okay, yeah. We're a big school. I go to a and uh, He go to Shaw. He go to St. Paul. He go to Livingstone. He go to Smith. They go there. Like. Okay, just because you got into a bigger HBC basically and humbly doesn't mean you have to talk smack about everybody else who went to a lower HBC or a small school. We all got to come together because basically, in the long run, we're going to be needing each other's help. So... This is not even on my paper, but I'm just wondering now, like, do you feel like, um, I just had it, hold on, I had a brain freeze? Yeah. Everybody has brain freeze. Um. 2,000 years later. Oh, I was going to ask if you feel like funding has something to do with it, because I noticed, like, when I go on, like, HBCU pages and stuff like that, under the comment section, it'll be like, there's more HBCUs than just the big ones. And a lot of the donations, they yeah. try to focus on yeah. the bigger it's HBCUs. It's sad mm -hmm. that a lot of these celebrities and stuff are actually looking at the bigger HBCUs. It's like, yo, 
you got schools like us, like celebrities try to really focus on the bigger schools that's on TV. Like us, we are just now getting on TV. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got celebrities stuff coming through the radio station and everything and do interviews and stuff. Put us on the map, like okay. We got this one girl named Keish Lino. Shout out to her. She's actually one of our top alumni that everybody really knows. Okay, she went to Livingstone. Every HBC matters, but the smaller HBCUs matter too. Like I just seen say A and T just got another donation, a seven figure thing for their new building they have being built on campus and it's like, okay, that's good for them, but it's very unfair. Shout out to Chris Paul too for wearing Howard sneakers. I like those. Period. I like those. <laughs> those are fire. And also for wearing our school sneakers, which is crazy. It literally like brought exposure to our school that day when he did it. Cause a lot of people were like, okay, Livingstone College. And I'm like, yeah, I go there. <laughs> Stuff like that. A lot of people were like, yeah, we graduated from there. So it helped us get exposure. And it's a lot of people out now like, dang, I forgot the clothing brand. I went, this is God. This is God. Clothing I'm like wearing right now. Shout out to him. He gave me this hoodie and the hat that I got on right now. And also as people that that's designing living song sneakers and clothes and stuff like that. So shout out to them for like actually putting us out there. And the HBCUs do matter because they do make up most of the black people that are here that are doing great things within the community and within the world. Shout out to um, Kamala Harris, went to an HBCU. Period. <laughs> Actually, Howard. So you got people, black doctors, you got people, dentists and all that, lawyers. And like, yeah, I went to HBCU, I went to either Morgan or I went to Spelman, I went to Morehouse. Their kids, grandkids, and then you got kids in the community that have them come out to speak to the community. Then their kids start looking at it and speak to their parents about it and their households. Like, okay, some people want to go to POV Wild. I don't have a problem with that. If y'all want to do that, y'all can do that. But just know the best homecomings are coming from the HBCUs. And you won't get a better homecoming at the PWR. And the bands, y'all got over there, say goodbye to that. In the long run, our homecomings and our studies are actually better because they teach us more about our history and the stuff we have. It's like, if you get so caught up in the PWR, you will learn about the other color and you get so caught up in the other color stuff to where it's like, as soon as you graduate, you kind of forget about your own community and where you came from, but going to HBCUs, like, you remember your black community, you remember everybody, and you stay connected and everything, and that's mm -hmm. the good thing about it. So HBCUs, they matter. They very much matter. I got a lot of people that, like, really helped me out throughout this first semester, and it's like, it's building me up. I get a lot of advice here and there. Basically, Livingstone really just not only taught me, like, be myself, but, like, it's also family, like, just help one another and be there for each other because we all got each other. We're all in this together. Livingstone is the place to be at. It's my school. I love it to death because that's home. Every day I wake up, I wake up so happy because it's like, thank you, Lord, not only for another day, but thank you for allowing me to get to college and allow me to go to this school that really reached out to me and that's really helping me out. Shout out to those people that helped me out in the office, Miss Hill, Osborne, Dr. Baldwin, all of them. And really shout out to our president, Dr. Jimmy R. Jenkins, really for being there and actually doing a great work for the school and everything. And also our vice president, CEO, Dr. Anthony Davis. Thank you to you too for everything that you're doing with the campus. All right, so that's pretty much um, all that I had to ask Jalen. But you guys know that I always give my little piece of wisdom at the end of my videos. Today, I'm gonna let Jalen do it. And yeah, so hopefully you guys can take that and use it. Thank you all for watching this video. Thank you, Wisdom, for having me here for the video and everything. She's doing her thing and everything. But I also would like to say, like, I, ha I basically have a tattoo on my left arm. And I, will I said it at my pageant when I went Mr. Freshman. Basically, you learn more from failure than from success. That's what a lot of people fail to realize. Like, y'all go through trials and tribulations and look when you mess up and you stay in that one spot. You can't stay in that dark spot forever. You gotta come out to the light and show the world like you got potential, you can do your thing. So learn more from failure than from success. Go out there, shine, do what you gotta do. Get out there so you can accomplish. You know, yeah, that's what I gotta leave with you guys. Stay humble, stay blessed. Keep doing your thing. If you need anything from me, 
you can really contact me through Instagram, Jalen Got Hits, J A L E N G O T H I T Z Z, which is Jalen Got Hits with two Z's. Contact me, I'll give you advice, I'll talk you through some things. You have any personal life issues or anything. And that's just that. Speak to you guys soon. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys can keep up with me and my social media, of course, but please um, keep up with him. All his information, everything that he mentioned in the video will be in the description box. I will see you next Tuesday with another one.